welcome to Factology. Here we upload videos about new technology, inventions, new gadgets, and future ideas. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so so you don't miss any new episodes. In this episode, I'm going to tell you about the ZTE Quartz Watch. The ZTE Quartz is a great value if you're simply considering dipping your toes into Android Wear 2.0. There are many smartwatches available right now. Choosing between the dozens of varieties can be really overwhelming, especially if you don't even know where to start. But I think the ZTE Quartz is a fantastic option for people in this particular conundrum. It's not the most exhilarating smartwatch, in the sense that it doesn't exactly push the wearables industry forward, but it's basic enough and cheap enough that it can be appealing for those who are merely looking for an entry point into Android Wear. Device purchase requires a SIM starter kit, which will be added to your order automatically. So let's see the 10 reasons to buy the ZTE Quartz Watch. 10. The ZTE Quartz has an AMOLED display. I like the Quartz 1.4 inch AMOLED display too. Colorful watch faces appear nice and vibrant on screen, and I actually like that the bigger screen helps make Android Wear's 2.0 font and icons more legible. Bear in mind that the display doesn't have an ambient light sensor, so you will have to adjust the brightness as you see fit for the situation. It's not the easiest to see outside in direct sunlight. 9. The ZTE Quartz has removable watch bands. Unlike the Watch Sport, however, the Quartz has removable watch bands, which you'll want to swap out immediately after you take the device out of the box. This is the stiffest watch band I've ever worn, that I can remember at least, but I've been around Android Wear devices since their inception, and I don't remember the first generation LG watch being this uncomfortable to wear. 8. The ZTE Quartz runs on a Snapdragon 2100 processor, which is made especially for wearable devices. It's packed with 768 megabytes of RAM, 4 gigs of onboard storage for music and the like, and a whopping 500 mAh battery. The charging dog it comes with may make it feel antiquated, however, with its outdated micro USB connection. But the trade off is substantial battery life, which should help keep you from grumbling. 7. This is how the quartz charges, with magnetic pins on the back. On standby, the watch managed about two days before I had to plug it back in. While actively wearing it, it lasted from morning to morning without too much worry. Though it's not comfortable to wear to sleep, it's also worth noting that I keep notifications to a minimum, and I tend to use theater mode during work hours. I also had GPS set to rely on the phone's location rather than the watches. However, you should be able to make it through a comfortable day of hiking before the watch needs charging with its GPS turned on. 6. Use the watch to make phone calls or navigate the trail without your phone in hand. Perhaps the most compelling feature of the ZTE Quartz is its built-in 3G connectivity. You can use the watch to make phone calls or navigate the trail without your phone in hand with the aid of T-Mobile SIM. And while it's nice to have the watch take on the bulk of the cellular work the phone would normally do during an outdoor expedition, I personally feel silly carrying on a phone call with the watch out in public. 5. Android Wear 2.0 is a step up from the original. The ZTE Quartz is the most affordable smartwatch we've seen to ship with the new operating system so far. 
It closely resembles the LG Watch Sport in design and function, but doesn't include a heart rate monitor in order to reach a lower price. But you probably don't want to use it as a fitness device due to its short battery life and just average tracking abilities. On the whole, however, it's more versatile than other big smartwatches and worth considering if you aren't keen on spending a lot for wrist notifications. 4. ZTE has opted for simplicity in the button department. There's only one, located at the 2 o'clock position. Holding it down brings up Google Assistant, while a quick press brings up the main app menu. As for navigation, you need to swipe your fingers across the touch display. 3. The Quartz has single channel 802.11b GN Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.1. Cellular connectivity works on T-Mobile's network. It costs an extra $5 per month with a T-Mobile One Voice plan and auto pay. Though ZTE says the Quartz doesn't work over 4G LTE, Frankly, you probably don't need LTE speeds on a smartwatch, but it does mean you'll want to download any apps over Wi-Fi. ZTE also opted to forgo NFC, which isn't a huge deal. 2. The watch has a 500 mAh battery, which theoretically should translate to longer battery life than the LG Watch Sport at 430 or the Samsung Gear S3 at 380. ZTE says the quartz should last up to 36 hours. 1. So, what should be the right price? We haven't found an Android Wear watch we'd really love yet, and the ZTE quartz doesn't change that price as its biggest selling point. At less than $200, it's cheaper than the rest of the Android Wear 2.0 watches we've seen, especially considering it has cellular capability. It's $150 less than the LG Watch Sport, while offering nearly the same functionality and a more accessible design. With a lower price, you don't have to make some compromises but most of them aren't too major. With a lower price, you do have to make some compromises, but most of them aren't too major. Android Pay isn't used widely enough to make the lack of NFC a deal breaker, and giving up heart rate monitoring is only irksome if you're a fitness buff, and in that case, you're better off with a dedicated tracker like the Fitbit Charge 2. iPhone users willing to spend more, meanwhile, will be happy with the Apple Watch Series 2 or Nike Plus. Still at $192, with the inclusion of other specifications you don't normally get at this price point, it's a worthy consideration for anyone curious about what it's like to wear an Android Wear 2.0 powered watch phone on their wrist. And it looks nice too, even if it is a little plain. The ZTE Quartz does require you to compromise on a few technological advancements that have since come to wearables. For instance, you won't have NFC capabilities with this Android Wear device, which means no Android Pay without your phone. It also doesn't have a heart rate sensor, which doesn't make it the best smartwatch for fitness buffs. Though I didn't find it comfortable enough to wear while sweating it out anyway. So I hope you like the ZTE Quartz Watch and this video. To see more about the ZTE Quartz Watch, you can go to my description and click on the official website link. That's it for today's episode. Please don't forget to like and share video.